Hi, in my previous couple videos I was talking about how gene expression works, how we can locate a um, special control region with control sequence in at the upstream region from the um, uh, gene to which um, special proteins bind uh, that called regulatory protein and such protein can with the um, help to promote gene expression or uh, can suppress uh, gene expression. Uh, such proteins are unique and um, they cannot be one protein for all the genes because this would lead to house because uh, uh, each protein should be um, unique and the site to which it binds also should have unique sequence. So in my previous video I showed that we can use a restriction enzyme to cut upstream, upstream region to many pieces um, like maybe hundreds of bases and using gel retardation method we can find exact uh, DNA fragment that contains bind uh, protein and in today's video I want to show how footprinting with DNAs works. This is going to be next experiment to find exact location on that fragment that I was talking about to which uh, protein binds. So in this experiment we will use um, DNAs1 or um, deoxyribonuclease and here this chain represents a DNA um, fragment and each circle here represents uh, one, um, one nucleotide and using uh, digestion with DNAs1 we can um, cut each nucleotide except those nucleotides that is protected with uh, protein um, so in our next step we will use two experiments in first one we will use naked DNA plus um, uh, limited quantity of DNAs1 uh, that would uh, digest uh, each um, molecule in one place so we will get a bunch of uh, uh, molecules of DNA of different sizes it's called family of uh, fragments and um, we also have to label each uh, molecule with uh, a radioactive marker and in our second experiment we also have to add um, uh, nucleus extract that contains different uh, proteins and one of those proteins is unique for this uh, active site and will bind to it, this site. So uh, we're also going to use limited DNA digestion so um, each molecule would be cut at different places except those places to which uh, uh, protein binds. Uh, because this piece of DNA would be protected by uh, protein. So we will use in next step uh, gel electrophoresis or autoradiography because we're using uh, radioactive markers and uh, in our gel uh, retardation method we also use uh, gel electrophoresis and um, Actually, in this case, we are going to use a polyacrylamide gel because this gel would give us a possibility to see uh, different fragments that differ from each other by only one nucleotide. So, on the left, you see our control uh, experiment and fragments. Um, and those fragments uh, would be of different sizes. Uh, some of them would, uh, all of them would be different by only one 
uh, nucleotide. So if our fragments say uh, only 10 bases uh, or 20 bases as in our example we will have about 20 different fragments and on our right side here is a run uh, of our fragments that we got uh, after digestion uh, with deoxyribonuclease and on this run we're going to miss some um, fragments that were protected by binding protein so we just won't get uh, these sizes and here on the right uh, I I can show you um, same uh, molecules but different sizes and we are missing certain sizes here it's called footprint this is a position where protein is bound and this is about how we can uh, locate with this footprinting experiment uh, with DNAs one exact location to which uh, protein binds but this is not the whole story um, with uh, I want to talk a little bit about my next video and to show you what's this video going to be about I want to show this picture of beautiful girl by the way she is so like my daughter Alisa so I chose exactly this photo to represent uh, my next video here you can see uh, a rope that can be representation of the um, polynucleotide chain and um, DNA and um, this girl can be representation of the protein so you see she cover a certain region of the DNA and um, you also can see that she only grabs to certain um, position on this rope and those she covers uh, um, a rope uh, but she grips only to the small piece on this rope we can change rope here or even cut it here but she would still grip to the rope but if we loosen her grip at this place she probably lose her grip and uh, wouldn't be attached to the rope anyway so um, anymore so um, the same thing is happens with uh, region that is protected by uh, protein only a small piece probably of that um, uh, control sequence uh, is actually um, make um, importance and in next video I will show how to find that location on that uh, piece of DNA that we got in our experiment that I was talking about today. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.